everybody, welcome back to Cook Master. I'm uploading a holiday theme recipe every single day this month from December 1st to the 25th. So today we are making some Christmas croissants. So I love making homemade croissants and it's actually way, way less intimidating than you may think it is. And today I've dyed them red and green for Christmas. So let's get started. Okay, so for the croissants, we are going to make both colors of dough separately and at the end we're going to layer them together and roll them out. So first we are making the red dough. You want to place some yeast and warm water in the bowl of a stand mixer. Allow the yeast to develop for about five minutes until it's very foamy. Add some sugar, salt, melted butter, milk, and several drops of red food coloring. Attach a dough hook and mix on medium speed until it's fully combined. Add the flour half cup at a time, mixing until the dough becomes less sticky and shapes into a ball for about three minutes. Transfer the dough to a floured baking sheet and spread out until it's about half an inch thick. Wrap tightly in plastic wrap and chill in the fridge for one hour. Then you want to repeat those steps exactly, but use green food coloring instead to make the green dough. Place one cup of butter onto the center of a sheet of parchment paper and use a spatula to shape it into a 6 by 8 inch rectangle. Place another sheet of parchment paper on top and then transfer everything to the fridge until the butter is cold and stiff for about one hour. Then repeat with another one cup of butter to create a total of two rectangles of butter. Place the red dough on a floured surface and roll out to a 16 by 10 inch rectangle with the short side closest to you. Remove one rectangle of butter from the parchment paper and place it in the center of the dough. Take one short end and fold over the entire surface of the butter, pressing the edges together to seal. Repeat with the remaining short end of dough, folding over the butter and pressing to seal closed. Roll the dough out until it's a 16 by 10 inch rectangle with the short end facing you. Fold the bottom third of the dough into the center and then fold the top third down. Reshape until the dough is 11 by 6 inches. Then wrap the dough in plastic wrap and place in the fridge for 45 minutes. Roll the dough out on a floured surface to a 16 by 10 inch rectangle. Then fold the bottom third of the dough into the center and fold the top third down. Wrap the dough in plastic wrap and return this to the fridge to chill for 30 minutes. Then you want to repeat this process two more times, rolling and folding the dough and chilling it for 45 minutes between each process. Then once you've folded the dough the final time, wrap the dough in plastic wrap and chill it in the fridge for four hours or up to overnight. Then repeat these steps with the green dough and the remaining rectangle of butter. So what this process does is it creates the very, very, very thin layers of dough layered with butter in between. And so that is going to give you the nice like flakiness of the croissant. And um, that's when you like when you pull a croissant apart and you see like all those thin layers of dough, that's what we're creating. So it is kind of annoying like constantly like rolling out the dough and then putting it in the fridge and then rolling it and putting it in the fridge. But you have to do that because that will create the nice layers and these croissants taste so good. Like so good, they're my favorite part. <laughs> and the reason why we are doing the red and the green separately is because I learned through trial and error <laughs> that um, you can't like stack the red and green and then do like the folding and rolling process together because they will create this disgusting muddy like purple color and like if you like this color then you can totally use this technique. <laughs> But it's not very Christmassy, and I have a folder on my computer where I save the files because I don't delete anything. And it says S hmm, version, and um, all, all the ugly files, and I'll show you like clips here, um, are there. And I was so disappointed. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have time to like do this again, but I had to because it's just horrible. It's like so terrible. So um, yeah, just to let you guys know, that's that's why we're doing it this way. <laughs> Then you want to slice each color of dough in half to create two squares of each color. Wrap one red and one green square in plastic wrap and place it in the fridge while you use the other two squares of dough. Also, so at this stage, you can freeze the individual squares of dough and then defrost them in the fridge overnight and then continue on with the process that we're going to go into next. So if you want to serve these on Christmas morning, which is actually what I'm doing with the half of the dough that I didn't use for the video, um, you can do all the steps that we just did in advance and then the morning of or even like the evening before do from here on so that you have freshly baked croissants and you're not like stuck like slaving away in the morning like waking up super early. <laughs> So place a red square of dough onto a floured work surface and place a green square on top 
and then roll them out into a 9 by 18 inch rectangle. Slice the dough in half lengthwise and then cut into 7 or 8 triangles. Cut a small slice into the base of each triangle, then roll the triangles into croissant shapes and then gently shape them into a little crescent. Then repeat with the remaining dough in the fridge. Place the croissants on a baking sheet, spacing them about 3 inches apart. Cover them with a clean dish towel and place in a warm spot and let rise for 1.5 hours. Bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Then cover loosely with aluminum foil and bake for an additional 5 minutes or until they're golden brown. Place the baking sheet on a wire rack and cool until warm and then enjoy your freshly baked croissants and you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope that you like this recipe. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and ring the little notification bell so that you're notified when tomorrow's recipe goes up. I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!